Hello, Shumai. Hi, my name's Chris Jones, and as well as being the weather presenter on S4C, the Welsh television channel, I'm also a very keen walker. Now, I've been very lucky to have walked all over the world, in Europe and in South America, for example. But of course, being Welsh, I think that the best walking is here in Wales. And certainly the county of Carmarthenshire has got some of the best walking trails in the whole of the land. Now, today, I'll be walking around one of the most striking, one of the most dramatic castles in the whole of Wales, Carrick Kennen Castle, or in Welsh, Castell Carrick Kennen. So off we go. This circular walk is approximately seven and a half kilometers. It should take you around two and a half hours and it's classed as easy to moderate, although it's not suitable for push chairs or wheelchairs. So I start by walking past the cafe and the gift shop and don't forget to buy your tickets if you'd like to visit the castle itself, which dates back to the 13th century. Now the path leads up to the castle and it's clearly marked with a yellow castle icon for the short walk and red for the longer route. And that's the one I'm walking today. So if you've got time, the castle is well worth a visit and is full of Welsh history. But I'm going through the gate to the left and down to Coy de Castell, the castle woods. It really is an inspiring place and you can understand why Turner painted this part of Wales in the 1700s. So remember the yellow castle for the short walk, but the red castle sign takes me over the bridge for the longer walk. Now it can be a little muddy and wet here, you'll need to wear the right footwear and be careful of course of the famous Welsh sheep. I'm about halfway now, but how's the weather doing? Well, all of a sudden, the weather has changed. The wind has picked up, the hail's been falling, but you know what, no matter what the weather, this walk is amazing. Look at that view. And it's quite a view. The castle, as it stands today, is mostly the legacy of Edward I, and is open to the public all year round, except for Christmas Day. I'm on the final part of the walk, and I can see the castle in the distance, but first, well, I need to cross a little brook, part of the River Kennet. Well, in the shadow of the castle, we nearly finished our walk, and I'm really looking forward to a good old cuppa. You're not guaranteed of sunny weather in this part of the world, I'm afraid, but on this walk, whatever the weather, you'll never be far from this wonderful castle which is maintained by Cadu, the agency responsible for Welsh historic monuments. And before I know it, I'm back at the cafe, ready for that cuppa. Mm. Arderchog, excellent. What a great walk, and what better way to end the great day's walking than with a nice cup of Welsh tea. Or, if you prefer, there's a great pub not far from here. So I hope I've given you a flavour of this walk. If you are interested in walking around Castell Carrick and then or any of the other walks in Carmarthenshire, of course, then go to the website. You can download a colour map of all the walks as well as information about attractions, events and accommodation in the area. So from the wonderful county of Carmarthenshire, Hulvarchi. Cheers.